we haven't talked in the early season. It was the huge topic of conversation what Deion Sanders was doing in Colorado. Oh boy! And it was it was fun at that point because it was busting everybody's head. Mm-hmm. And now they're still a team that's extremely competitive, but they have a losing record. Yeah. You know, and Deion's coming under fire. Rich Eisen asked him about all the players that left, and Deion said, honestly, we had an honest conversation with like twenty of them. The other players just quit. You know, and it's like while you're winning, you don't really have to explain that. You know, but now you've gotten to this point, and it's like, okay, I gotta let people know that no, I wasn't being what they thought or perceived as an a-hole in those things. The offense coordinator, everybody loved, who left the job as a head coach to be the OC, has now been removed from play calling. When you think about Ocho, it was the destination for everybody. The way things have shifted on Colorado and Prime, when you look at that situation now, what are your thoughts? I mean, it's still, it's still the same. I, I expected him to turn that program around very fast, and he did that. He did that. And before the season started, he said he's six, eight dollars away from getting where he needs to be to be competitive throughout the entirety of a season. The interior is where they're lacking, mm-hmm. offensively and defensively. That's it. That's it. And he's, I mean, obviously those, those issues are going to get fixed, you know, once the portal. And one of the, the 90% of anything when it comes to college football is recruiting. You think Prime will have a problem fixing that interior? Offensive defense? It's, it's, it's going to change. It's going to change fast, too. So I'm not really worried about losing record because he's already surpassed everybody's expectations anyway. They won one game the year before. Yep. One. If you different because of him, but yeah, you're right. If you if you much different. So my, my thoughts on head change, if you want to be all up in arms like all oh, the coaching style, now he's losing. What's he expecting to do? He definitely wouldn't go undefeated. No. You know, and that wasn't gonna happen. But for what he's done in such a short amount of time with that program is commendable. This is what here's what I'm gonna say. When last year no one cared about Colorado. Yep. No one focused on him, no one paid attention to him, people didn't go to the games, they weren't putting them on TV every week. People in Colorado ain't care about Colorado. Right? <laughs> Ralphie was out there running for herself. She she wasn't running for fans, she was out there getting exercise and allowing 20 people that chase him, or chase her, he's actually a female, that chase her around the field have a scholarship for chasing a, a, a band Buffalo every Saturday. Yeah, watching warm up to his hilarious. <laughs> I, I will say this, and it, it speaks to what he's done. They're the most average team in football that everybody plays like it's their Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. When they come to town or when you go to Colorado, even if you believe Oregon knew they were the better team, they knew it. But that coach spoke differently. He was on them differently. The level of intensity of that locker room was different because of who Dion is, because who Colorado had become. And I think there's a, a sense of, of difficulty, Chan, that being prime adds to winning football at that level. Like, it's great because you get all the other stuff that you wouldn't get other places. There's a lot of teams better than them that everybody's going to go see. Mm-hmm. How do you get over that? How do you fix or adjust to the fact that you are getting everybody's best shot, even when you are the best team? That's when you talk trash, you're going to get everybody's best shot. That's why I said, I, I said there's never been another coach prime again. Anybody with as much lower as him, almost like Ocho, anybody yeah. with as much attention on him, mm-hmm. they want to do that job. That job is hard. Like Ocho just said, you got it now. You got Coach Prime who has plenty of money, plenty of respect. He's, he's sitting in 17 year old kids' uh, living room telling them how great they're going to be and how much I'm going to take you under my wing like I'm your father. Like it is a difficult job to do. And when you put a target on your back, that's why they call it that. Because I'm a coach trying to shoot you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And everybody wants to take a best shot. So Prime is going to really have to grind and recruit and do all the things it takes to be a Nick Saban, to be a, who is it, a Kirby Smart up there, Jordan. To do that, that's a difficult job. And these kids were ill prepared to have that on them, to have that attention. Some were. Shadour can play like that. So that's some good players on that. Travis, 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 Travis is one of the best college players I've ever seen in my life, to be honest. You need 80 in college. And you got to have guys coming up behind that guy to prepare for the next year when he goes to the league. Prime just got there on a level, one in 11 team. We talked about four. He was going to fail and people were waiting for him. It's like Floyd Mayweather when he was popular. People were watching him to get knocked out, including me. And I love Floyd. I'm like, somebody sooner or later is going to have to hit this little joker and catch him. Who was that? Pacquiao called him one time. And the whole party I was in jumped up. He got tapped and then he went commenced to whooping that boy's ass. No, that was Shane. Shane called him twice in one round. And folks went crazy. He didn't went around after that. I'm talking about whipping him like he stole something. At least he cried probably in that fourth round. You know, she couldn't take it. She probably was in the back shaking and shivering. <laughs> and Floyd would come in and whoop his ass. Dion doesn't have the, 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 the dogs right now. No. And don't forget on it. If I am a DB, I go play for Prime. If I'm a receiver, I go play for Prime. What does Prime know about left guard? What does Prime know about Michigan? Three technique. Mm-hmm. How is Prime going to get those big corn fed sons of bitches in the middle of Wisconsin <laughs> to come to Colorado? Because that's what you need to be a good football it's player. It's Prime. I think it makes it that much easier. It right. makes it that much easier wanting to play for, for someone of that stature. Because if I was a lineman, that's why I, I want to go. Because you're going to have the same amenities, right. before mm-hmm. the same things you can get in Michigan and your other Power 5 schools. I think it also comes down to uh, consistency. You, you better believe Prime was ready to, to deal with this sort of adversity. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure the players were, but I'm pretty sure he's done his best yeah. to try to get them in the mindset that it ain't going to always be flowers. You know what I'm saying? So they lost three in a row, but they're better than they were. Mm-hmm. You know, that message is still there. I think we still see the consistency in the with how he posts mm-hmm. and his interviews mm-hmm. and his faith and, and his optimism. All those different things, I think, are encouraging. And he's able to still go into these homes. You know, people know he got a mouthpiece. So the family's going to say, I can send my kid here to get a life, to, to learn about life, learn how to be a man. You know what I'm saying? Learn about what, what's going to happen if I don't make it to the next level. And I think all of those things are assets for Dion. And, um, you know, people, one minute, they're going to be able to talk about him. But the next minute, you know, they'll, they'll be able to praise him again. He's going to stay steady. Yeah, yeah. you know, he's going to stay steady. He's going to be the best. Remember what he said? Y'all take your shots at me now. Yeah, he said, y'all better get me now. Yeah, you better get me now. And I know exactly what he meant.